Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, we are going to learn how we can manufacture the finished good by using the raw materials. And that can be easily done by configuring the bill of materials. So if you haven't watched my videos from the starting, we have a complete playlist free of cost on our channel that you can check out from the description. And without wasting any time, let's get started with this video. In this video, we are going to see how we can produce the finished goods from the raw materials by using the assembly function in QuickBooks. And this is the most important part if you are dealing with the manufacturing company. One was creating the bill of material where we create the recipe of each individual finished goods, how much raw material is consumed in what proportion for manufacturing that finished good. So we have already set that bill of material and that is the first step in manufacturing. Just remember that without entering the raw materials or bill of materials in the background, you cannot use the assembly function in QuickBooks. So in this example, until now, we haven't manufactured anything. Just we are preparing for the manufacturing. We are purchasing the services. We are purchasing the raw materials throughout all this time. And now we are ready for the production because you know that production involves a lot of work. So we have to make sure that we have the adequate quantity labor services and all before we are ready for production. So now let's start on 15 January shirts are assembled. So it's very simple. I'll just go to items and services and from the activities, I'll click on build assemblies. Now here it's asking you, what do you want to manufacture? We have two options. We can either manufacture shirt or pants. We have it mentioned in the inventory assembly where we have configured the full recipe. So as we select the shirts, you will notice that it will show you the complete recipe that for one shirt, two meter cloth is needed, one meter bookram is needed, one thread and eight buttons are required. And also according to our stock of each item, it's showing you the maximum quantity you can build with this stock is 15,000. So how cool is that? So let's change the date to 15 January when we are manufacturing the item. You can write the build reference number here. And I'll specify here that I want to manufacture for now just 4,000 shirts. As I press tab, you will notice something. Right now, just notice that quantity needed is zero. As I press tab, it will show you that if for one item, two meter cloth is needed. So for 4,000 shirts, 4,000 multiplied by two, is equal to 8,000 meters will be needed. And similarly, it took the proportion in the same way for all the other items, as I just told that I want to produce 4,000 shirts. So it will automatically take all of these raw materials from the backend and then produced and transfer it to the finished goods. And it will also allocate the cost. How cool is that? Now we just have to mention the memo here, just paste and build and new because we have a lot of manufacturing here. Next is on 15 January, same date. We are producing pens. It will show you the recipe and we need 4,000 pens. Everything looks good. Just copy and paste the memo here and let's click on build and new. Now the same procedure will be followed for all the assemblies. So what you can do is you can just pause it at this point and just try it by yourself and then resume the video because I'm still going to show you any way to complete the project. So let's move to the next transaction that is of 20th January 2024 and we are producing the shirts again. Date is 20th and we can still build 11,000 more, right? So 3000 shirts, copy and paste the reference here and build a new. Next one we have is pants assembled at 20th January and the quantity is 2000 pants as of 20th January. Quantity is 2000. So let's mention here 2000. Just make sure everything is good. Copy and paste the memo and we are good to go. Let's click on build and close. Now, if you want to see the build assemblies again, I'll go to the activities, click on build assemblies and you can go to the previous transaction as well. And if you want to see the journal entry effect, you cannot obviously see on the top of it because we don't have any reports option. So what you can do is when you don't have the direct option of reports within the window, 
you can go from the top menu from reports and I'll click on transaction journal report. So it's crediting all of the raw materials and then transferring it to the finished good as debit. Finished good inventory is debit and all the raw materials inventory is credit. This will be the journal entry for it. So guys, this is how you can manufacture the finished goods from raw materials in QuickBooks.